I think the greatest piece of advice I would, uh, that I would have liked to have received is find good people. You can learn to love any area. You might have your preferences, but any field of research, when you are when you're knee deep in it, you can learn to be, you can learn to love it. You can learn to be interested in it. Um, but if you don't have good people around you, people who are not only willing to support you and make sure that you are successful in your research, but willing to promote you and advocate for you and push you forward and and help to. Um, forward your career because it, it, it really does require an external person helping to do that uh, to be really successful at it um, if you don't have those people around you it's it's just going to be more difficult it's not impossible people do it all the time but I think that is something that really makes your path easier if you have just good people around you I would also suggest not taking no for an answer if there is something that you want to do if it's something that you're passionate about then find a way. If you can't do it the straightforward way, find a different route. Don't take no for an answer. Life is long. You have lots of opportunity to pursue whatever it is that your passion is, whether it's science, art, whatever, whatever that cause is. Find a way to do it. And if you can't do it explicitly and wholly as your entire job, find ways to introduce it into whatever it is that you are doing. I think the, the final piece of advice I would have is, is be diverse in your thinking you know don't focus solely on just the science classes you know take computer programming classes take communications classes uh, take graphic design classes take other classes that will ultimately support your ability to be a an awesome scientist because there's so much more to it than being in a lab or doing data analysis it's you, you really the more of the whole package you represent, the more successful you'll be in your career.